Hey, Miss Fitz, we're here at PAX U. It's the last day. I don't know who this guy is. Don't ignore Oh, yeah, this sorry. This, uh, I don't know why he keeps getting <laughs> just, a fan. Just, just a yeah, fan. Just a, <laughs> just a fan. <laughs> or like the other way around. This is Austin from Ivy Studios, of Hello. course. One of our one of our favorite studios here. We and I, I know I say that here and there, but honestly, like out of the top three, you're Thank definitely you. you're definitely you're you have a special place in our heart. You're too nice. So I, I, I try to be. It doesn't always come off that way, but I try to be. <laughs> so of course we have a new game. We do. We have an exciting new game called Moon Rollers. This is Moon Rollers, and it is a push your luck standalone game set in the Moonraker's universe. Right. I love it because Zach is really bad at rolling dice, and he's who I play <laughs> games with all the time, and so I win. <laughs> Um, but no, that's not why I love it. I I love it because it is the perfect warm-up and cool-down game for your core game group. Right. But it's the star of game night for people that aren't as into games as we are. So right. I can play this with my family that is like, what do you do for a living again? And I'll be like, this. <laughs> this yeah. And they're like, oh, that was actually okay. Whereas yeah. if I tried to pull out Veiled Fate, they'd be like, wait, who's the werewolf? <laughs> and I'd be like, no, 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 no werewolves in this one. Um, and so I, but, I'm really but, excited. But an idea. What yeah. An idea. Expansion. Yeah. Werewolf, werewolf expansion. expansion. Coming to Veiled Fate. <laughs> it is not coming to Veiled Fate. Um, but no, basically, you're rolling dice. Yeah. You have five of them to start. Okay. And you're putting them on contracts. This contract right here requires sure. me to roll a total of seven die, if I can do it. And I have to pick one requirement and go for it. However, if I'm going for the thrusters here, and I manage to not roll any thrusters, I'll bust, and I'll lose all of my accomplishments up until that point. Yeah. My favorite icon to roll is this purple one, because that means I'm going to get more dice, and I can have a total of 12 dice in my pool in a turn. Okay. And so I'm trying to get as many dice I can roll to not bust on this. However, I have a nasty habit of bust, busting on 16, wait, 6 die. And yep. it's like a 15% chance of busting at that point, and somehow I managed to do it. It's great. It's great. I, I think that's skill. Yeah, it's skill. That's, it's one of my skills. I, I, I need to break it to you. I'm hard, I have no, no luck with dice. I have zero luck with dice. So I was excited. I was like, oh, cool, the moon rollers. Yeah. Wait, uh, rollers? <laughs> oh, what does rollers um, mean? Yeah, exactly. I totally did that. I'm like, oh, I'm going to play it anyway. But If I'm you can lose. complete the card, yeah. you get the special ability. And the special ability will help you not bust and help you mitigate that bad luck that we have. I do like mitigation. Yeah, wow. mitigation is important. Survive. I survive on that. And so the person that is able to do these requirements can lock in a cube to show that they did it, but they can stop at any time. And other people might lock in different color cubes, and whoever completes the card gets it, but whoever had cubes on there will score numbers equal to what they, they were able to complete. So if I just had this blue card on there, blue cube on there, I'd get two points. The winner has the most points at the end of the game. And so you might not have a lot of cards, but you've completed a lot of the portions. Right. And so you got a lot of points. And then at the end of the game, whoever has the most points, the game ends when you get three of the same color or one of each color card. But you might not win even though you're the one that ended the game. Uh, and my final favorite part uh, <laughs> is you're not pushing your luck only on dice. Okay. You're also pushing your luck on hazards. And I managed to draw three of the exact types of hazards. I wanted to draw three different. <laughs> that was pretty magical. All right, there we go. So those are the three <laughs> different types. Here, folks. <laughs> and if you complete a requirement that has that hazard icon there, you have to choose to or take two and keep one. And whoever has the most of those hazard pips on their score uh, markers here at the end of the game can't score any of their bonus points. But if you have second or less, then you get to score all of these points. And so if I didn't have the most, I would get to add eight points to my total at the end of the game. So you oh, never really know never, who's yeah. winning. Yeah. And yeah. so you might end the game in second place, and then the person in first place has the most hazards, and you'll jump ahead of them. So it's it keeps it interesting right until the, the, the very end. So, yeah, that's, yeah. Actually, that's actually really cool, yeah. Seems quick, seems easy. Oh, yeah. But it has still all that style that Moon, that Moon, uh, Moon Rakers has. Yeah, yeah it's, got that, it's got that... Um, that art, and it's also got you know the symbology and all that. But then yeah. it also has a little bit of that player interaction that we love because you're negotiating like, hey, hey, don't let don't let him get that green card because <laughs> he's going to get three cards and he's in the lead. We got to stop him. Yeah, Someone yeah, else yeah. needs to complete that card. And so you're talking around the table. You're yeah. laughing when people bust. It's a good time. Yeah, so. man. Oh, that, that's. I mean, honestly, that honestly seems it's like a logical step for you. I mean, you're you're good at designing these awesome deep games and just obviously have a table presence. Something quick and easy, kind of warm. It's like it's, it's like it's perfect for the crowd. Yep, it's really perfect. We wanted something light and tight, and we've added the tagline "Right for you." So <laughs> that is that's what we're going that's with. Good. It's not I great, like it. uh, but we're sticking with it for some reason. Just, just double down. Just double down on it. All right. Zach one time was like, "It's light, 
it's it might be and I was like no no Zach not might it's definitely right not might <laughs> And where anyway, can we get it now? It's on Backer Kit right now, and it will be until, I think, December 11th. So awesome. you have about another week or so to pick it up. Awesome. Yeah. And it's got a Moonrakers expansion in it. Oh, it does. Who even who even said that? Yeah. It has a Moonrakers expansion in it <laughs> uh, called Dark Matter and another one called Intrepid. Intrepid uses the dice from this game in Moonrakers. And so there'll be like a contract that you have to roll 12 dice on, and you have to do those requirements. The hard part is you don't know what those requirements are before you roll. So you choose the contract and then roll. So that's a little bit of risk in there. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, you have yeah. ship parts that will also roll dice and add those as requirements. Oh, things that's like cool. that. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then Dark Matter adds in a totally new action card to the game that's called Dark Matter. Big surprise. Wow. Yeah. Uh, but it's really dangerous. Always be branding. <laughs> Always be branding. Yeah. Always. Uh, it's dangerous though because without the right like combination of cards, it's basically another miss in your hand. But if you happen to draw the crew that you want to use it with, it's super powerful. So it's super great. I love it. That's awesome. It, it's it's one of those things you push it too far, it ruins your deck. But if you get just the right That's mixture, right. it's perfect. So. Guys, listen. If that didn't sell you, if Austin didn't sell you, I don't know what to tell you. You don't like you don't like board games. <laughs> just check this out, backer kit. Right now, Moon Rollers is available for another couple weeks. Is that? Yeah, another week or two. Grab it. Ivy Studios. If you don't know by now, again. You, you, you gotta, you gotta pay attention. You're too kind. You're, yeah, no, seriously. You guys have always been awesome. Check out Moonrakers, our whole library here at PAX U. Um, you know, just stop by the booth. Austin will talk to you all day long. He's really good at it. He's a good guy. I don't know about good, but the quantity is high. Yeah, no, it's very, I mean, sometimes over quality might be better. It just depends. <laughs> awesome. Thanks, everyone. Thank you guys, take care. And as always, game on.